Hey everybody, welcome back to Nancy Drew, the Shattered Medallion. We're sneaking around and doing things. I should note that this is the first time I've played this game, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. But I found George! Hey there, Georgie girl! You need to ask Sonny about the clues you've been finding. Sure, why? Well, he keeps asking about my sleuth friend and what she's up to. It's like he's been getting impatient. Hmm. Should I trust Kiri? I'll look into her history. Kiri thinks Sonny hijacked the show. That would make sense. How so? Well, you know I'm a huge Pacific Run fan, and I can tell you that this season is way off. I mean, first, the crew is non-existent, and normally you travel the whole Pacific. Hence the name. Why are we focused on this one area? I don't know. Should we be worried? A little. All right. I think I need your help researching. Can you do that? Nancy! I'm scandalized. It could get us kicked off the show. I'm not looking to cheat. But you want the goods on everyone who's here. I know. I started. Check my tablet for updates. I have a hard time staying... Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. George is asleep. Okay, so where's her tablet? Her tablet. It looked like it was on her lap, but now it looks like it's not. Is this it? Oh, confessionals. We've noticed a lack of any special skills in your application. I have skills. Could you list those skills? That's not something I have to do often. Okay. I suspect that this announcer person is the real culprit, because this, this announcer is very suspicious. There's more than a competition here, but still, I'd like to win. Did you notice that Sunny's only focusing on some of the teams? Hmm. It's not very interesting. You don't seem that upset about losing your teammate. Isn't that a touch suspicious? I'm not saying I cut the bridge, but if I did... Wouldn't that be something now? Hmm. Any insights about your fellow contestants you'd like to share? It's so easy to mess with Bess. It's not even worth it. Still. Let's leave Kiri to her thoughts of teasing fish in a barrel. What brought you back to reality TV? There are lots of things I want. I want my own fragrance line. K, a sensation of elegance. My own line of ghost-written cookbooks. No one famous actually writes their own book. I just want to hold a lasagna up to the camera and smile about money. That's the dream, right? And in sleep, what endorsement deals may come? All right. Let's see what Lena's up to. You seem a little overqualified to be here. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not talking about that bridge. Leave it be. That poor girl got hurt, but not my fault. I was supposed to be there for the contest. Mm, that's culprit talk right there, Lena. Although, I, I still suspect that announcer. Nancy teaming up with Kiri. Not a smart move, but I'll let it happen. There you have it. Wait, how do people know that Nancy, Nancy and Kiri formed an alliance? I thought that was secret. Uh-oh. Your background is a bit top secret. Why is that? I'm not a villain. I just want to win. Another wonderful brick wall impression, Lena. Let's see what Patrick says. What do I do? This is where you share your darkest secrets. Oh, confessional booth. Okay. I stole some food from the craft table. Generally, people talk about other contestants. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about the other people. That's it. What? <laughs> Patrick. My name is Patrick. Uh, this is the confession booth. I used to be a pro rugby player for New Zealand. This is my first time on reality television. Not my first time in reality, or my first time on television. You seem pretty driven to win. I've won a lot of things. This couldn't hurt. You want me to talk about the waterfall? Yeah, we were there. She didn't want me to talk about it. I think she still doesn't. He's motivated and built as solid as the rocks in the box that is likely referenced when describing his smarts. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I consider myself a student of the medium. Reality television is much maligned, but I maintain it is the height of the art. It's a visceral expression of human joy and law. 
Okay, no. uh, my, I don't think we need to hear from the, uh, the teams that aren't actually participating. Oh, is this a tablet? The relics we saw when Sunny was telling us the rules, they didn't exactly look fake. Okay, so Sunny is using real things instead of fakes? Okay, Sunny has been in a lot of places that Nancy has been. I get bonus points. Oh, hey, I didn't know I got bonus points for winning games in the Puzzle Palace. Great, so what have I done? Check, check, haven't, haven't, done. still have, did that. Can't check that off yet. Okay, and what else was it that I was trying to do? Search Sunny's tent for a phone number to call. Use the phone in the puzzle place. Okay, so that's why I went to Sunny's area. You know, besides for all the other reasons. Hey, let's talk to Bess. What's up? Nothing. Talk to you later. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Oh, you old so-and-so, get out of here before I punch you in the nose. That's kind of violent, Bess. Okay, so phone is here. Who would you like to call? Jamila. Zero two zero four nine six zero four two three. Who is this? Nancy. Nancy who? Close. It's Nancy Drew. Oh, I remember you. From Egypt. That's right. Hold on. Where are you calling from? New Zealand. So Sunny found you. It would appear so, yeah. Are you in any immediate danger? No. Be less certain about that. I'm glad you're doing okay. At least until now. So this is Jamila. Jamila L. Dean. She was a character in Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Can I call you back? Of course. You wouldn't know the combination to Sonny's footlocker, would you? He never remembers those things. He hides the codes he needs in the spy booklets we put together, which I happened to edit just the other day. So take the number in Chapter 2 the lower number of the constellation pamphlet, the number from the UFO he's drawn in chapter 6, and the chapter reference in chapter 5. You remember that, but not the combination? I remember both. But if you're going to snoop on Sunny, you'd better be able to explain how you solved it. Otherwise, he'll know I helped. That's complicated. I need your help. That you do. I hope it's enough. Do you have any clue what Sunny's up to? Well... Yes and no. Give me the yes. He's trying to follow up on his grandfather's wishes. Okay, what's the no? I'm not sure what he's after. I believe it's an artifact. What kind? Something very important to the Anunnaki. Something his grandfather, Jin, was desperate to get his hands on. That's all I know. Jin found it spied. He's hard to track down, but he's an expert on relics and ancient sites. And aliens. Huh. Wow, we we can talk to her about a lot of things. I'll let you go. Talk to you when I can. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I got points. Sunny wants to review. Okay, okay, so Sunny, Sunny did something. Do I have points? Because I, I, I'm trying to get points. I'm trying to get points. Where's the point thing? Oh, no, I need more points. Need to earn more points first. I can't go below 50. I need to get more points so I can so I can get this bag and solve the sheep challenge. 